What's up, duelists? It's Nerp here, and we are one win away from S rank. As you can see, um, I've been doing a lot of winning recently. Won eight of my last ten matches. I've been exclusively playing uh, my same Lionar deck. I'm sorry, I told you guys I'd try to switch it up for next video, but you know, with one more win to S rank, I'm gonna stick with my bread and butter. But once I get to S rank, it's another one of those checkpoints. So I'll be able to experiment with some new decks. Maybe I'll try to make competitive decks uh, in the other factions. Um, so I am rank one, and I have four of the five like spirit or uh, progress thingies from one to zero, from rank one to S rank. So this win, if I can get it, will vault me into that elusive rank. Well, I guess it's not that elusive because I am on a, I am doing well now in diamond rank. So yeah, my my win rate in diamond division is actually pretty high. I think it's high, maybe higher than my gold win rate. I'm not sure. Um, so I guess I'm getting better at this game, if that's what that means. I um, have about 120 or so ranked wins this season so far. I know some people were posting on the Duel subreddit with like, they got to S rank and how many wins it took them to get there. I guess the fewer wins it took you to get there, it means you got a higher win rate. Um, so I assume mine is about average. Maybe, I don't know, some people were saying like, oh, I got there in like 50 wins. Like that sounds like a really, really few because I have more than double that amount of wins. So they must have had an insane win rate. I did have a lot of periods of going back and forth. So I'm not that much of a polished player yet, but I guess I'm showing that I can hold my own which is cool and I'm going second I'm gonna get rid of tough choice actually because that can get rid of something that has like a blast thingy this can kill something I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the arc light sentinel I don't think that will be right play in the first actually let's get rid of the tempest and one of the saber spine tigers i don't think these high uh these high ranking vitruvian decks are like those blast decks anymore promise fist okay so i could go ahead and rush my saber spine and kill that but i don't think it's a good trade for me um so, I think I'll play my two two drops. I'm gonna lose my saber spawn, I think. I'm perfect. You love to see that. I like to top deck more useful two drops in the early game. Because Healing Mystic ends up being just a vanilla two three on the first turn in the game because you have nothing to heal. I think the Trubian is one of the, the okay solid matchups for me um, to play with this Lionar deck. I've just been keeping some mental notes recently of my uh, wins and losses against which factions and it seems like most of my losses have been against Abyssinian decks. Even though I have Tempest to clear a lot of Wraithlings, um, sometimes it still gets overwhelming when they can do trades like they lose one little Wraithling and they destroy one of my big, my big drops. So that gets a little annoying. Okay. So, I can actually just move down, move up here. Play the Dancing Blades to kill that. Or I can attack and kill the Arclight Sentinel. I think the Dancing Blades is the right play, though. Um, let's actually move down. Because... Actually, that's kind of stupid, right? I didn't even replace yet. Uh, I guess I'll replace the sun balloon here. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't replace the sun balloon. Should not have replaced the sun balloon. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Why did I do that? I guess I'll move here. Like the point of me doing that was I wanted to keep this alive because I could heal it next turn with uh, a healing mystic. 
Um, but what I did do is just look, leave him a mana spring open now so he can potentially go to five resources. I got the top one, it'd be harder for him to get one of those mana springs. Well, at least he spawned in such a place where he can't kill my tiger. But he has four more resources to use. Next turn I'll have five resources, or five mana, so I can play both of these, or maybe just the Iron Cliff. Ah, so he is going to be able to kill my lion. Okay, well, he had to play like a straight up two drop to kill it, so I'm kind of happy about that. And I think I'm going to... Replace my arc light. I do like the healing because it looks like this turn we're just gonna play my iron cliff. Yeah. So because I can just kill this with this. And I don't really. What I like about Vitruvian is I don't really have to position myself too well. Like, it's. Oh, he just surrenders. Yeah, I was I had a clear advantage of that game. Uh Vitruvian, it's like you don't have to position yourself that well. I guess Star's Fury, you don't want a lot of open space in front of your face. Like in front of you, but nothing really else. And I am S rank. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh so that's cool. So now I think it tells you like what your ranking in the world is like once you're s rank it ranks you like an actual number in the world show my profile um oh so it tells you does it tell you how many wins it took you to get there or how many was in total i think in total okay so it took me 125 wins to get to s rank um for this season. That's cool. Ended up going 9 and 1 in my last 10 games to get there, so I actually sped through there. And I wish it just showed in your profile your ranking in the world, unless it will after this game. Well, we've only recorded for up uh, since he surrendered pretty quickly because I had a clear advantage in that game. Um, I have enough time in this video to play another match or two. So. Let's do this. Lionar Mirror. Lionar. Not sure how this works. It's gonna show my. Hmm. Doesn't have a number there. Like I've seen other S rank players have a number here. So, not sure how that works. I'm going first. I'm gonna replace these two. Maybe I'm just, maybe it only shows the top 100 players, so maybe only the top 50. Possibly. Maybe the case. But I don't know how close I am to that. I don't know how many S rank players there are in Duelist. So if anybody knows the answers to these questions, I'd love to hear. Um, do I do two of these or do I do the lion? The lion can be actually killed rather easily. The lion I think is good against other factions. In this mirror right now, in this mirror match, I do think that the two windblade adepts will be uh will be better. He has his line, I'll be able to get to my line, it's just gonna be like whatever. Yeah, so if anybody knows, uh please comment just like telling me. Ah, that sucks. He gets a good draw there. Um, now, I could Holy Immolation. I mean, I could Arc Light Regalia and just kill this without taking any damage in my general. Instead, I think I'd rather play the multiple units, though. So I'll play this. 
and then I'll kill this. He has more cards in his hand than me, but I definitely have the board control. Yeah, so please comment if you know, like, how S rank works and, like, when I can see my ranking in the world. Or if my ranking in the world is just not high enough to be shown yet. Also, um, I just recently posted on the dual subreddit about, like, guilds. Like, you know how in scrolls there's the badger guild and all that? Um, I'm interested if, like, people have done stuff like that for duelist because I haven't seen anything like that which is kind of kind of sad okay what do I want to play this turn I can do I guess I'm doing the uh, idle toss probably better than arc light mm, or there's this problem is I can't get in there Okay, I could give that my knife. I'm doing a huge trade like that. Do I really want to do that? Maybe. Maybe I want to do that. Um... Screw it, I'm not going to, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to attack yet. See how that works out for me. I probably should have attacked this general with my general, whatever. Yeah, so, there's, like, guilds and scrolls, remember, like, the Think Tank, Gorm and Fuzzy, Rats and Bunnies, uh, the Badger Guild, all that cool jazz. Um... I noticed there's not really a lot of that in Duelist, and I think it's a really uh, great way for the community to bond and stuff. So, I uh, posted it in the Duelist subreddit, uh, talking a bit about guilds. So, who knows, maybe there's going to be a little rally around that idea. Darn, that's annoying. I really wish I had that on my side. Um, I have to really get rid of it because we know what an unattended tombstone can do. That is Lion R. He's five hours and I have to assume he has the dreaded divine bond. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight. One, two. Oh, actually, if I play the Elixir like, Stormblade, I'll have enough to kill it, right? Because then I can actually attack this or four. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect, actually. Yeah, it's actually perfect. That allows me... Also, let's get rid of the Saber Spine. I don't love this Aver Spine, actually. So we're able to destroy that. And we have a 7-7 Elix Stormblade. So very good turn. That was just perfect because it w his positioning meant I, could, meant I couldn't actually uh, destroy this. But with the Elix Stormblade, I was able to get the first... I was able to get both Celerity attacks with the Lion in it, uh, beside, instead of one. Um, so we both have a lot of health on our generals, but it looks like I have better board control, especially with my bigger unit. And I know from playing a lot of Lion R, they don't really have like, like they can't make amazing trades with spells and stuff. That's pretty good. Though. Okay, so at least I dealt seven damage there. Um, do I get rid of this emblem? Probably not. I know Lion R has a lot of stuff they can do. Well, I can trade here, and then, okay, so I want to keep the arc light because that can clear his board. I'd rather not, I 
Let's see. You know what? Let's actually uh, replace this on Bloom. I hate to do it, but frankly, his, his board does not look like it needs to be sun bloomed right now. Okay. So let's heal this up. Let's kill this. Get some damage here. Kill that. And I'm gonna keep that in my hand, I guess. I don't want to empty my hand in case I top deck like some holy immolation stuff, or if he's able to clear my board this turn because he has five cards and he could do like some holy immolation. I think that's what he's gonna be able to do. He just needs like a three drop with it, so I'm kind of scared of that kind of play. Yep, holy immolation. I mean, I tried like my best to play around that. Um, I'm gonna replace the Windblade Adept. Like, I don't really care if I can't play both cards in my hand. I've definitely come to learn in Duelist, you don't want to be like top decking every turn. You actually um, usually want. At least, like, here, yeah, I guess I'll give this extra attack. With one card in your hand as Lionar, I know, like, if I top like a Holy Emulation, I can't play it without a unit to play two, so. I kind of need the things in hand. Sometimes playing the Bloodborne spell is a little premature, but whatever. You know, I'm not really sure how, how Bloodborne spells work. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Well, I kind of have to deal with that. Sunbloom, please. No. Um, I can give you 8 attack. But then you just die. Uh, I guess I have to. He has three cards in hand. If he has any kind, of, any kind of, actually doesn't win right away. No. Well. That's kind of annoying. We'll provoke and we'll heal up a little bit. Can't really do much else. He is a 13 attacker. <laughs> that was a big, uh, big play for him. I don't really usually think of playing the Divine Bond prematurely, but I guess that's a good play there because I can't attack it. But he's definitely banking on I me mean, not having a dispel there. If I had a dispel last turn, I think I would have won the game. Yeah, I would have, because I could just increase his attack by two and attack his general. Now he has the game in his hand. Looks like he can't win this turn, though, so he's just going to have to destroy my provoke. And... I hate to replace an Ironcliff Guardian, but that's just what I, what I might do. To look for the sun bloom. Well, I guess never mind. Sun bloom's not gonna help here anymore. I think I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this game. Um. Well, actually, maybe I can. We're gonna. Unfortunately, this is going to have to die. I'll give Roar to this, destroy that. 
and put down an iron cliff and then we'll be kind of like trading right that is what I'll do don't see a better play so I'll kill this unfortunately it dies Now he's ahead of me. He has two more cards than me. I do have seven more health than him. But it's gonna be a game of top decking. Saber Spine Tiger. I could have dealt three damage on his, but I don't really feel like it. I could have dealt two damage on his uh Arc of Guard again, I guess. Well, he's down to 5 attack now. Which actually means that... Oh, I'm so close to winning. If I just had a way to attack him without the provoke, dude, staring me in the face. Here's where it would be good to have multiple cars in hand. If I just had a sun bloom here, I'd have the win. Well, but I think that's gonna be game. I assume it's gonna be game. There's a tempest actually. Which who knows? That could help. Can he win the game outright this turn? Almost. So, unfortunately, it looks like my first. S rank game is gonna be a loss but I guess that doesn't matter at all right because just like diamond division and gold division and silver division like right when you get to the new division it doesn't matter uh, if you win your first game or not but it's almost like a free game I guess you can't win quite yet uh, I'll replace this I mean can't really play it There's nothing I could do in this game right now. Yeah, it's gonna be game probably. So close to get so far. Well played. I wanna see if after the game maybe, like what's the screen after here? Because it's not gonna be orbs anymore going to the next rank keys. Once you're S rank keys, it just ranks you uh, on the actual numbers ranking. So is it gonna give me my rank now? Okay, here it is. I am rank 54. That's cool. So I guess there's only about like 50, 60 or so um, players who are rank 0 or S rank in the world. Or maybe it already gave me a pre-determined uh, uh, S rank position because I had a really big win streak or I had a high win rate in Diamond Division. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah. So now I guess my games kind of count because I want to make my way towards the top of the rankings. That's cool. I'm a top 50, top, top 60 player now. And that'll be it for today's video. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.